Hi, welcome to the assembly. My name is Navya and today we'll be looking into how we can detect, recognize and obtain textual data from vehicle number plates using Jupyter Notebook in Visual Studio Code. We'll be making use of different libraries like OpenCV, NumPy and even be uh, making use of the uh, ECOCR uh, language module. Anyway, before we start, make sure you have your test image uh, kept ready with you. This could be uh, any vehicle number plate, which is simple and easy and does not have any extra um, fonts or images on the side. I'll show you an example. Uh, so this is a stock image and uh, this is one example of the uh, number plate I was talking about. Uh, so yeah, I have already created a folder here and um, saved a Jupyter Notebook file here as doc1. Um, and yeah, let's get on to coding. Okay, so you're going to import all these important libraries that we see here, including CB2 NumPy and the um, ECOCR. They have been uh, updated. That's good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to read the uh, test image and convert it to grayscale. And we will use the PLT uh, command and we can see the output, which is the gray filtered test image. All right, you can see that there and it is scaled as well. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we will be using the canny edge detection and bifilter command to reduce noise and smoothen the image for the uh, detection to take place. Uh, so what happens is uh, the uh, filter does not eliminate any edges while filtering the image, which is very important for us because we need the uh, license plate to be detected. And we will run this and we can see the result of this again by using the PLT command which you can see here. All right. So that's the expected output that you should get. Important part, we will now look to find the required uh, contours and prioritize them uh, using the tree hierarchy and the chain approx simple command which you can see here. Then those values will be returned to us using the next command. And lastly, we'll be sorting this whole thing out using the sorted command. Okay, so contours, key points have been identified with contours, we have prioritized them. Now, we will be setting location to none and we can create this loop with the variables of contour uh, and what the function of this loop is that uh, the loop will keep looping on to find, the, uh, find a closed polygon, which you can see with this uh, command line. So the loop goes on to find a closed polygon, which is uh, four sided like the like the license plate, which is required for us. And uh, the loop will break once that is found out. So we'll run this code. And next we have the uh, masking command and uh, the contour. And again, we'll get the license plate that we require, which is a four sided polygon, as you can see here. Now we have identified the uh, license plate of the test image. Um, we'll move on to the next part of the code, which is we will be requiring to crop only this section of the uh, license plate that you can see here. So for that, we will be taking the maximum and the minimum uh, values of both X and Y coordinates and the cropped image will be then turned towards grayscale to uh, reduce the noise in that image. This can be seen in the next uh, part here. And that should be the result that you get. Now that we have the cropped uh, image of the license plate, we'll be applying um, ECOCR module to get the textual data from it. So now that we've included this and we've 
run this we can see that um, it's taking some time and yeah that's the texture data that you should get you will be getting image 20 double e 7598 which is exactly what's there in the image as well now you have done this and this will not necessarily work uh, for all number plates around the world because those num there are many number plates that have different fonts images writings etc on them so this is not exactly going to work with all that's why i uh, in the beginning i asked you to start with something very simple with just numbers and uh, letters so when we have uh, such complex cases what we'll be doing is we'll, have, we'll be using maybe a uh, different deep learning models and uh, train them on it or we'll be using different classifiers like the uh, hard cascade classifier for Russian number plates that's one uh, infamous uh, classifier that's used for uh, vehicle number plates as well thank you for watching hope this was fun and easy to follow if you like this sort of content please do like and subscribe to our channel also do follow us on our social media to stay up to date with our content thank you